Salty Rose here at the Ventura Music Factory in Industrial Ventura. Today I'm playing an Epiphone Coronet. This is a reissue of a like, late 50s, early 60s guitar. It's got the, I think they call that the bikini badge on the headstock. P90 pickup, a wraparound compensated tailpiece, volume and tone knobs. It's got a two-piece body and a one-piece neck. You can see that there. There's no scarf joint. It has the three on a side tuners, kind of like a Les Paul Jr. On this particular guitar, I had to put a riser under the P90 pickup. It just didn't have enough punch, didn't have enough volume compared to some of the Les Paul Juniors I've played. The pickup was pretty far down from the, from the strings. So I put a riser to lift the pickup up and then it seemed like this guitar wouldn't really intonate well. I mean, I know you can't intonate it perfectly. It has the two screws so you can tilt the bridge, but you can't individually intonate each string. I decided to uh, get the Golden Age Lightning Bolt wraparound bridge from Stumac, and it was a bolt-on piece of equipment. Once I put that on, it seemed like this guitar intonates good enough for the kind of music that I play. I basically only use this guitar for slide. I like having a guitar like this that's affordable that I can take to shows, and a friend of mine once referred to a guitar like this as a kicker. It is a kicker. It's got a really strong finish on it. You know, you can just lean it on the amp and you don't have to worry about it too much. So I'm going to leave you with a little bit of uh, tumble and dice. Thanks for watching.